Hello, this is uh, my video. Uh, as I promised uh, at the uh, forum uh, to show uh, some my opinion of uh, how the current uh, my uh, setup is working and uh, how it could be possibly improved. Uh, and also I will try to make a, a little um, disc description of the uh, machine uh, that I still consider like a new machine. I am owning this uh, at around uh, uh, several months and uh, I already stinked like um, 13 rockets with it. So I try to make uh, one rocket uh, a week every Saturday night, like now, it's around midnight, and um, and uh, um, I wouldn't say I know this machine very well, but uh, as there is a reason to make a short video, it might be uh, several points regarding machine, uh, so this is um, a stringing machine, uh, I think, 3017 Pro and uh, uh, generally built and designed uh, very well very well everything uh, works uh, and rotates uh, as you see absolutely silently without any 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 problems uh, this uh, part uh, also very massive very very sturdy I would say Mm, I uh, unfortunately cannot compare it to any other machine because this is my first machine but uh, overall feeling that uh, it is built uh, uh, maybe even a little bit uh, more heavy than necessary so but uh, more is better than uh, not enough so this machine is uh, maybe longer it could be a little bit shorter, but uh, from the other side it allows to install, if necessary, electronic head. Um, these are clamps and clamp bases are already uh, reviewed many, many times and uh, they are very good. There is no question about I like them. Uh, the only little, a little thing that I maybe would like to improve uh, is that you see uh, here, I don't know if you see or not, here there, there is uh, nothing that prevent the string go down, all down, till, till there is a metal, metal, a little around the inside. So at some, if, if you see, I will take a string, uh, there is a shorter string here, so so if, if, if you just put a string inside there, it goes, for example, if, if, we, if we're pulling mains, you see it goes too low, too low. So you, you need to carefully see and uh, every, every time you fixing the clamp, you need to uh, set it correctly approximately this height. Uh, at some other uh, especially professional clamps, there there is a, a little um, here place where where uh, the string stops and it not goes down. In this case, you just uh, put the clamp up, fix it, and that's it. So you do not have to to find precise height where where it will. Uh, uh, where to place it. But this is not a big problem for me because I am amateur uh, stringer. I, I am not I'm not planning to sting more than one, two rackets a week. So for me time is not that important and uh, everything like that. So I absolutely uh, like this, the, the action, how it works and uh, the feeling of this, the quality of material and everything absolutely fantastic. There's no question about that. Uh, the other side of machine is, is also designed very good. 
I like the quality of, of surfaces, of materials. Uh, um, most ideas are, are very well. Uh, there are, however, one point that I do not really like. This is how these sensor supports are, are designed. If, if, if you look at that, um, you can see that there is quite long rod here, but these rods are very short. And from first sight, they do not do any, any, any function, uh, aside from maybe preventing this uh, support from rotating. So when, when, when they are close enough, they are coming to these holes and, and fixing it. Um, however, I don't know why that uh, designers are put here, here, and the other side, here and here, hex nut, nuts, uh, that allow to, well, if screwed completely, they allow to fix this central support part to this rod. And by that, eliminate any flexibility, any, any play that is possible without it. So, as you see, even now, it is not fixed completely uh, good. It's a little bit play here. And the other side is that this threaded rod is quite, I would say, thin. So when under load, even even with my finger probably, you see, it is it is already not parallel to this. So you see what's happening? It's the the load is working on bending it, and it bends. So I don't know. I personally, when I sting first time the racket, I did not do. I didn't use this hex nuts. So I just uh, pulled racket, fixed it with some load, with the also side supports, uh, did uh, everything as uh, by book, and I got racket very round, very round. maybe 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 eight millimeters rounder than than, than the normal. Um, excuse me, I check the. Yes, everything is working. So. The, the racket was round and uh, well I, I looked at, at, at this when when the when all mains are pulled and I saw huge angle here like like under load they, they are visibly not parallel to the main towers and this was my first idea that oh I can use this to to eliminate that and I did with, with some well additional work prior to to pulling uh, uh, mains you can completely fix this part to the main tower completely Th this will be I, I will show it and this is really really good um, first I, I first thought that uh, i would so solve all all problems with that um, and actually it is uh, but uh, here uh, uh, I shall start uh, talking about this some effect that I consider normal for all machines, but uh, I personally would like to avoid it. So that side effect is that if racket is here and all mains are pulled, there is force that makes these towers uh, tries and makes them closer. So several millimeters, they they just because this is metal and this is metal, but the configuration is this U, U form. So you see it cannot be absolutely rigid. So this little bit deforms. This little bit translates into several millimeters. In my case, four, maybe six, depends on on the pulling tension. Uh, and uh, this is what I personally do not like. But uh, uh, there is opinion of uh, uh, my forum friends that uh, maybe uh, 
most likely I do something wrong and uh, uh, if I would do this properly there should not be any 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 deformation of table itself uh, that's why I decided to take this already perfectly string racket this was one one of my tra training racket it's not very very um, very expensive racket I think 30 euros it was but uh, I, I I've got it as like you know it was broken it was broken here and I made this carbon fiber uh, uh, handle myself so I, I, I little bit like this racket so I'm not I'm throwing it I, I, I stringed it uh, and now, right now it is uh, stringed perfectly so dimensions are good um, but uh, as there is lockdown there is no way I can I can I, I already string all my rockets so I need uh, something to continue practicing so I think I will remove this string to show you what what I'm talking about okay so let's do it let's do it and uh, maybe I'll uh, to to have uh, less video uh, to copy there and I will I will put on pause at some moment mm. but not now mm. because um, uh, well it's not, not nothing really interesting but this should be quite quite fast removing all strings all, all good things by the way I'm training with uh, uh, I think it is uh, nano j 90 98 uh, it is a little bit elastic but uh, um, it wasn't extremely expensive and uh, it's playable it, it I can I can play uh, with this thing uh, at least uh, I do some training during lockdown uh, outside I found a wall where there is no wind and and I'm doing uh, at least several times a week training very good uh, okay so do you, there, do you see me right I, I hope it's it's in what I'm doing so I I, I mold how, how I mold the racket so uh, I I try and I, I think these sides are identical but I try to follow this um, picture showing me where is everything so right now ah okay what what we need to do first is to measure the racket is to measure the racket um, let's see the racket now without any tension is uh, is uh, twenty six twenty six twenty six uh, excuse me twenty three point six twenty three point six right and uh, I will measure here the cross section it will be 18 so let's let's record this here and take absolutely clear sheet of paper so without any single no things we have uh, uh, horizontally 23.6 horizontally and vertically 18 millimeter I'm not counting the the holes because I'm using this um, by the way let's let's check I still need to check one two three four
Uh, no, this is not good. This is not good idea. So I will find another another place to, to measure. I'm sorry. I measured in the wrong place. I will measure here. Here the, there is a symmetrical point where racket should be quite good. And uh, at uh, this point we have uh, 18.5 18 18.5 18 Okay, I remeasure the vertical I remove once more but there is no, there was no zero tangent right now so it is Twenty three point six. Twenty three point six. Exactly as it was measured. Good. Uh, you probably see that that I am measuring not from zero but from ten, just because. Uh, and then I I I removing ten from from the reading. So it is thirty three point six. This is twenty three point six. Is it okay with video? Looks like okay. So. Um, Good. So now we need to make this racket uh, like like uh, classically little bit tangent, little bit tangent, right? Little bit, not not a lot, and fixing from side, right? And what we have here. But I probably mounted it incorrectly. Right now, let's see. Right now, it mounted correctly. Good. 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 A little bit tension here. Little bit tension here and a little bit tension here, 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 good. So here I applied uh, so so much tension that I feel that the racket is uh completely fixed yes and uh, now we uh, record fixed racket how much we already deformed the racket before doing anything else let's see so the racket is 34 let's measure again so a little bit less 23.9 23.9 and here as we know it it is and it is here and we have here 18.2 I, I hope you see it so we already with little bit force from from all supports deform it by three millimeters vertically and three millimeters horizontal very good but as i said said you uh if we leave this as it is th these pieces will be deformed so we need to fix this rack and 
and I'm doing this sorry wrong key here It not takes a lot of time and actually I even like it because after you fixed this nut the machine configuration remains as it was nothing really changes So, and second part. I hope my video... Because I have good phone, <clears throat> but it only has 32 gigabytes of memory. And uh, most of that already used by Android. So I'm not sure if this phone... Maybe I should better buy a new phone than a machine but I think machine is better <coughs> more fun yeah it's okay kind of recording because I would not re record second second video sorry uh, so the racket is fixed ready to sing and I'm not going to sing to the end because uh, typically I do it but by Haribito so one piece but here I just doing to show you. So I take five meter of string, two, three, four to be faster, five, and then later I will string it differently. Okay, so. Um, We're finding the middle point. Middle point. Here it is. Good. I think I will do this fast forward with uh, for you not to be because I, I I'm not a fast stringer, obviously. Too little practice. But what, what I am doing here, showing you uh, what I want and what I plan regarding this deformation. Okay, so let's put sync. Here. Here. Did they really have five meters? I don't know. I hope so. But I never, I never do it this way. Uh, you should. It's probably too short, but. Maybe not. Okay, so next. I think for my purpose it should be good even if a little bit short. But how is possible? I, I kind of did five meters. Should be. As I said, I do not plan to string it to the end with this thing right now. So, 
Okay, so as you see, the racket is tuned. Oh, sorry, the mains are, are put but not pulled yet. Uh, I'm ready to continue um, my experiment. So, how I uh, typically begin the stringing? I take the central strings, two them, better to do it this way. Okay, so everything is parallel, nothing is crossed, and I have, I think I have a little bit too much here, so right now it is 11.5 kilos, like I typically do for mains. So there was a question from one forum member, Esmer, do I observe here any uh, free play after pulling first, uh, but uh, I do not know. You see, there's pulled of first thing, and uh, there is uh, nothing really, no any free play. So maybe this is because uh, I pretensioned it by three millimeters already. So, but right now I do not see any free play here. Everything is uh, as sturdy as it was, so let's continue. One of, of the clumps I put close to here, second. It actually doesn't matter, because right now what we're doing is just holding the string uh, with half the tension because it is shared by two clamps but right now I will go gradually and do it further so good so I will pu pull two more strings and then see again is there any free play at central support so right now there is true tension, as you see. Um, I will, but this, uh, you see, how much, how much is pulling still good. So we need to up a little bit. And what I typically do is applying a little bit of pressure here, so that the clamp will stay completely where it is. You see, it's very good quality thing actually. Because if you a little bit preload it, it will not move, absolutely not move other side when you remove the tension from, from the uh, puller. Okay, now we can uh, go and um, probably string other side. I will try to do it a little bit faster than I do it typically because um, for you not not to wait too long.
By the way, I really like this uh, mono thing, this uh, mono tension drop weight because uh, with practice you can feel the tension very well and you can adjust it a little bit here and there and um, so this at least I have a feeling that uh, uh, with practice uh, you can really um, uh, improve the quality with this uh, so one two three four um, mains are pulled I do not see any free play here once again just to be sure no free play you see there obviously also no so I maybe maybe there is difference in 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 how um we preload the racket but maybe i i do several i i i i, I did th three millimeter already deformation of the racket so maybe right now the racket start pulling and and but there is there is nothing to to remove no free play here good so i will proceed with uh, what i started to pull in main and uh, let's see how much deformation of racket we will have in the end this is the purpose of my this uh, video that was planned to be very short uh, i hope i will be able to do some fast forward uh, there because for me it's not very long but for you maybe oh yeah, yeah, yeah. by the way sorry that's, that's because i'm trying to do it faster as i mentioned typically it's not happening Good. the mono the drop weight puller is very good here I like it. The the it's okay. Let's let let it be as it is. The only problem is that it cannot be moved backward. So if you need to move it backwards, no way. Only that. And uh, I was in several times in situation where I really would like to have it move backward. Oh, so good. So what we have uh, both here. Good. Let's go forward. But other than that, the. Quality of uh, mechanics is uh, good. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, this can rotate a little bit more, like you here. It's it's uh, all, all every there, everywhere there 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 are. Uh, oh my God. Too, too late for, for such a thing. Bearings, sorry. And uh, these bearings uh, are maybe a little bit too too squeezed. So it's not absolutely freely, but maybe it's normal. I, I'm not sure. Because what, what kind of, of uh, uh, me mechanics is inside? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it, it is friction based and it is okay that this is a little bit friction. Probably it's okay, uh, but in general, the only thing I plan to improve here is either lower it a little bit or make higher the table, so I will have full rotation. You see, there is 
maybe five millimeters to 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 difference so that to allow full rotation. Right now it's not possible. Okay. How is my video? My video is going very good. So let's go forward. Let's see. As you see. I don't know one thing that this surface where where the bases are sliding is not really that that good processed. It's a little bit like a friction here, like like texture. And I'm wondering. I, it's easy for me to remove it with the sandpaper, but I don't know. Is it necessary for also oh, for uh, a machine to function properly? What the uh, what happened here? Well, the video and uh, yeah, now it. And thinking it's a little bit hard for me. So let's pull another one and see where we are. By the way, okay, let's see how, we'll, how I will end this. This is a strange, strange um, pulling right now because I have feeling that. Um, my string is too short and I don't know why because but I as I mentioned all my rackets before that I string by Haribita and 10 meter string two knots and uh, probably today I decided to do it differently and it wasn't the right idea. Uh, but anyway, let's see. I would if I would have enough length I would even try to make it to the knots. So let's see. So, so far no problems, a little bit maybe longer than it could be. Very good. Let's see. Quite well, I think. But I do not remember where correct. There was uh, one. Oh, I need to be skipped. Which one? Let's see. The purpose of this, my job right now is only to find how much the rocket is deformed and to measure it. So if I see strange thing I clearly have too little string. I 
maybe I have enough enough string to pull one or maybe two more. Maze. And then I have nothing else but to measure the result. Pretty poor, by the way, result. Okay. Remember, yeah, it's probably it's also a little bit more. As you see, the racket is rotated, the table is rotating very good, no problem here. So the quality of this machine is overall Excellent. With maybe exception of this central support side that I just do not understand what, what the designers were thinking. Just just would like the comment because in manual there is nothing about that. Nothing about so yeah my friends I came to where I expected to come. Oh my god, oh my god, what should I do? Let's see, what, what can be done? It's already a little bit different from what, I never did it before, sorry. So let's see, is it, is it possible? You see, I even put it in the wrong place. Will it for? Will it hold? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's holding. I'm sorry for, for that, as I mentioned, I'm not doing this thing typically, never did it before, but I never also think with this short uh, two knot pattern, probably it should go this wrong way. No, no, it's okay. And the next will be will be final. Very good. So for that, okay. So
Hope this will help. Okay, so this is the last cross. And it is pulled. And I think is enough string to even make a knot, no problem. So actually, uh, it is uh, right enough string I just because I do not have that much experience with the this pattern I had a but still maybe maybe using flying clamp for that is not a Optimal practice. But why not? Nice. So here we are at the end of this. Here it is. So let's measure what we have here uh, in regard to. Racket length. So here we have here we have twenty three. 23.4 ah uh, maize and uh, horizontally we have uh, Horizontally, we have eighteen. Quite good, actually. We have uh, the measurement here should be precise. Uh, we have. Uh, Nineteen, nineteen. I would say nineteen one, but maybe a little less. Let's say nineteen zero five. So here is the result. I don't know. Do you see it? So here is the result. At the beginning, we had no string. No strings, 23.6, 18.5. Then we deformed racket to 23.9 and 18.2. And that means that uh, we gone the three millimeters up and here three millimeters down. So the racket was squeezed and uh, elongated in this direction. Then we started at these dimensions, pull first strings. The, here it was 11 kilos under these circumstances. 
then here here bracket gradually become more and more shorter and as you see here five millimeters it become five millimeters shorter and here five and here oh, a lot eight millimeters uh, uh, eight millimeters more more rounder so bracket is uh, very round right now it, it is uh, more than five millimeters rounder than original and some uh, two millimeters shorter than original this I would say this is extreme I, I saw more than that but then uh, I would say that typically I start not not three millimeters but two millimeters here so if I'm fixing this uh, central support with uh, this small nut I typically go here two millimeters difference and here I see more than more than that here I see like 24 now then if I pull uh, crosses these numbers go back to some uh, rocket dimensions again and if I carefully do uh, this uh, um, uh, I already found the the the, the amount of of difference between mains and uh, and crosses and uh, th there is two millimeters here not three but maybe three is okay uh, to, to deform it uh, uh, it will end up close to the original site that's no question about that and because of that I think that the machine is 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 perfect there's no problem about machine the um, this is uh, like I think all machines that are six uh, point support and this U, U side they should do like that what I do not like here is this black magic the magic that first you do by by your feeling uh, some deformation and squeezing then the rocket become you see by five millimeters with back yes so um, um, the question was, by the way, very important question that I forgot to measure, but I, I will do it right now. The video is going. Uh, how much actual support are deforming? Let's see. Let's see. Right now we are seeing between metal parts of support, we are seeing... Let's say, in order not not to measure half of millimeters, let's say here is twenty four. Little bit less, but not much. Twenty four. Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, twenty one point four. 21 centimeters 4 millimeters 21.4 so metal part loaded 21.4 and unloaded we're going to measure that so once again unloaded okay, loaded well, maybe 21.45, but yeah, okay, to be honest, it is, okay, 21.4, let's measure, let's see how much uh, it will be after strings removed so how to do it properly good question i think maybe the proper way would be to do it a little bit gentle
So I will put here and I think what we need to do now is to as quickly as possible try to remove tension from the other side. Okay, hello again. I make a copy of video to computer in order to free uh, some memory. So final part of uh, my um, experiment uh, need to measure the distance between these rods. I just removed these things and uh, it was before under all mains load it was 21.4 let's see how much it is now between metal ends of central support it is 21.7 is 21.7 yeah clearly this 21.7 so as you see I'm not planning to make special text and video so I think this is okay as you see the result of my experiment here we have uh, three millimeters deformation between uh, metal parts that are fixed completely fixed to the turns so this is three millimeter is deformation of the uh, machine itself I don't think this is a lot and uh, maybe I saw it uh, and uh, with different rackets and uh, uh, different starting conditions maybe to four millimeters but three four it's okay if this central supports are not fixed with these little nuts it's going to six seven so there is additional deformation here so but with this fixing uh it it, it is quite normal i think three millimeters but what i do not like i do not like this magic and i do not like this deformation at all so putting here the rod, you can completely remove this deformation. And then you cannot start with a squeeze racket, not with a 23.9, but you can just let the racket be 23.6. Proceed with stringing and end up with 23.6. But this is a different story. I will probably make a different video for that. But uh, right now that's uh, all I wanted to do. So I'll go and uh, make some video editing and uh, probably I will need to create a YouTube channel. Mm, but for now that's it. Thank you for your attention.